Hey guys, welcome back. This is Mike Hermes at MH Tutorials, and today I want to show you guys how you can create snow in Maya. Okay, let's get started. So we're going to start off in our Polygons menu, and we're in our Polygon tab. We're just going to create a simple plane. So click on that, drag it out. I'm going to hit 5 for shaded mode. I'm just going to hit W to pull that up a little bit. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start to emit particles from this object. And typically the normal side of this plane is on the top side. And we don't want snow to fall up but fall down. So we're going to drag select our plane, hit E, and we're going to rotate it. So the normal is facing down. Just make sure we've got that straight. Minus 180. There we go. Okay, so we've got that. And now we're going to select this object again, go to our dynamics menu, like so, go to particles, emit from object, and hit the option box, like so. Now there are a couple of ways you can uh, emit particles from an object. Um, these are the options here. Omni, which will pretty much create particles going in all directions. Directional will give one steady flow going straight down from usually one point. And in this case, we've got a surface. So we're going to emit from the surface. We're going to select that and we're going to hit create. And as you can see, we've got this little emitter. Uh, funny thing is, because we're now emitting from the surface, if I move the whole thing, hit W and move that, the emitter will move with it. So it's like parent and child right now. Okay, so we got that done. Now, we need a number of frames to play out the animation, so let's do 2,000. All right. Okay, zoom in a little bit, and we're just going to hit play and see what happens. Okay. And as you can see, you've got a steady flow of particles coming out here. Now, you could use this to create uh, rain, but right now we're focusing on snow, so I'm just going to Stop the animation roughly halfway, and we're going to select that. And a couple of things we can play with. We got the particle shape, and we got the emitter. Now, in the emitter tab, I want to reduce the speed, so I'm going to select 0 0.5 like that, and we're going to hit play. And it's starting to slow down nicely. I'm just going to bump up the frames a little bit so we can look a bit longer. I'm going to make that 5,000. Okay. As you can see, it's nice and slow coming out. Okay. Now, uh, one other thing we can do is the uh, rate of particles per second. If you think this is a little bit too much snow coming out, we're just going to dial that down a little bit. Let's say to in the neighborhood of 50. Something like that. And it's starting to look a little bit better. Now, that's not too bad. A uh, couple of things you need to keep in mind, though. Uh, uh, one of them is rendering. When you want to render this scene, I'm just going to stop it here. Zoom in a little bit. You see all these particles here? If I go to my render settings, and I select Maya software, and I hit render, you're going to see absolutely nothing. Why is that? Well, the reason is, believe it or not, these particles here, they are called hardware. No idea why, but that's what they're called. That what brings in, in your render settings, Maya hardware. So now, and this is important, if you forget this, you're not going to see anything. Select Maya hardware, and hit render, and there are your particles. So that's uh, pretty neat, and uh, pretty quick to do. Uh, what you can do is you can play with the size uh, in your uh, particle shape tab. You can play with the size of your particles. You can speed them up. You can slow them down. Uh, you can change their color, uh, obviously, because you want snow to be white. And um, I'll just hit play again. That's a simple and very quick way to create snow. Uh, I hope you liked the tutorial. If you've got any questions, as always, just leave a comment. And likes and subscriptions are appreciated. Thank you, guys.